Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to my kitchen. And I cook a lot of stuff in this kitchen. <laughs> but I appreciate you tuning in because uh, we've cooked a variety of different things today. And I got to say this. I don't want to, but I've got to say this. Anybody that's eating up all these beans and uh, ham hocks, Please go to the store and get you a bottle of Beano, and then everybody will be safe and happy. <laughs> and I've enjoyed being with you today, so God bless you. Hope you enjoy all the food, and we'll get back to you in another day. Good afternoon, everybody. We're back again today. We've had a lot of different requests from wanting us to cook pinto beans. And... <clears throat> I've cooked a many of a pinto beans, and I've burnt a many of a pinto beans. <laughs> I have burnt the pots that would be pitiful <laughs> when I was younger. But through the years, when in the microwaves, they invented the microwave and the crock pots and stuff. So I learned through a lot of trial and mess up how to cook beans in the crock pot. So I'm going to show you today, we got an average pound bag of Let's see what it is. It says 24 ounces of pinto beans, but we're not going to cook that many. If I cooked all that, it'd be enough to feed the schoolhouse. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're going to cook, we're going to half, well, maybe not quite half of it. That's probably about close to half of that. So, by the time you get these looked and washed and get them in the crock pot, they'll be good to go. Now, Mama, tell us what you're looking for when you look at these beans. Well, I'm looking for little holes in them, some little dark brown beans like that. I don't cook half of beans. Sometimes you'll come across one that's got a little hole in it, and I throw them out. They're wielded up. I don't cook them. Because I have seen on TV these big vaults and things where stuff like this is stored. And they don't completely empty them vaults before another truckload of beans or potatoes or whatever they got there is brought in and it's just dumped on top of what's already in there. So I've I really believe these little swiveled up beans that, like you see in these things and some of them got holes in them. I think they've been in there so long till they've just dried up. So I don't cook that. I just throw that aside. And while I'm looking through this, if I see anything that looks like a little hole or something like that, I throw it out. You've actually found rocks in them, haven't you? Yeah, and sometimes there'll be little pieces of black rocks in them. But when you go to wash them, if there's a bean with a hole or anything like that, or a bad one that you've overlooked, it'll float to the surface of the water. Oh. And you just scoop it out. Okay. So them's good, and then you just push them aside, keep them separated from the ones that you're throwing away. And see, here's a, right there's a little rock. Look at that, that's as big as a bean. Yeah, and sometimes they're littler than that. Sure won't want to chop down on that. It might take you about 15 minutes the first time you've ever looked them if you've never looked them before. And I've looked for many of them too. It don't take me long to spot a bad one. See those little pruny looking ones that sort of yeah. looking like little grapes? You don't put that in it. See this one's white but it's dried up too. So I figure it's an old bean when it looks like that. Okay. When you're watching them, you're just 
kind of scrubbing them through each other with your hand. And we're going to drain that off. See, that comes one up. So you're looking for one that's floating now? Anything that floats, I throw it out. Because it, it's either holler on the inside or it's messed up somewhere. Okay, everybody, I've got them nice and washed. I've washed them twice and everything's good to go. So then we're going to fill this little, this is a Tupperware. It sort of looks like a cup, but I bought this years ago. They may not even make them anymore, but when you're cooking for an hour or more in a microwave, you need something that's good and sturdy. And this is some kind of polyurethane or something like that. And it's real heavy duty, and I've cooked in it for years. But when we get the water up this far, almost to the top, then it's going to the microwave for one hour. Mom, how much water is in that? Is that a... Well... It's like about at least two quarts. There is a sign over here, and I can't see it. Okay. Uh, it looks like two quarts anyway, but just get it real good and over. Now, you say it in the microwave for a good hour, did you say? A good hour in the microwave. Now, what does that do to them? The only thing I can figure out is it kind of jump starts them. From if you put them like this in the crock pot and started it off, it'd take eight or nine hours in that crock pot for these bean, pendo beans to cook, to be done. But when you put them in a the microwave, and I just don't have no certain temperature on it, it's 1100 watt microwave, I cook it for one hour and it cooks from the inside out. So the beans are cooking on the inside the whole time they're in the microwave even though they don't look like it. But then when you transfer them from the microwave to the crock pot, it takes about anywhere from two and a half to three hours cooking in the crock pot. And once you put them in the crock pot, you don't ever put no more water or nothing in them. You're home free. <laughs> I'll tell you. Just put the lid on it and let them cook for about three hours. All right. Okay, everybody, I'm back. Here comes part two <laughs> of part three. So I got the, the beans out of the microwave and transport them to the crock pot and I put three pieces of smoked bacon. Be sure it's smoked because it's got the better taste. And to this I've added a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of sugar. So now all I'm doing is putting the lid back on it and push it aside and let it do its cooking for the next two to three hours. Mama, why you got that crock pot on? It's on high. On high, okay. It stays on high. You don't never put no more water in it. Okay. It won't burn or nothing. I mean, you could cook it four hours and it still wouldn't be burned. Now, when we before we put the beans from the microwave in there, you had, what, a cup and a half of water that you in the uh, crock pot that you've been uh, heating That's up? That's right. Because I preheat, I just I always preheat the crock pot no matter what I'm cooking. Right where it be hot when I transfer food to it and it just picks up and just keeps cooking. I got you. I've took it off out of the microwave. So this is good between two to three hours. Okay, we'll be back. I'll show you what these delicious things look like. <laughs> okay, everybody, we're back to show you the pinto. They are done. They've been cooking uh, probably three hours total counting the time spent in the crock pot but they're good and done so you can get an onion and a bottle of hot dog and cook some <laughs> cornbread and eat them that's right and mama three hours time that's the that's counting the one hour in the microwave and probably approximately uh, two hours in the uh, crock pot right right and they've been cooking on high in the crock pot all this time but i've enjoyed being here with y'all i've enjoyed comment some of you can and I just hope y'all enjoy the food and and remember it's straight from the heart. <laughs>